Hello girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. We hope you enjoy it. Today's story is a Berenstain Bears story called The Berenstain Bears and Too Much Car Trip by Stan and Jan Berenstain. It was just about vacation time for a bear family. Brother and Sister Bear knew where they wanted to go on vacation. <laughs> Brother's choice was Great Grizzly Land. Cousin Fred's been there twice, and he says it has all the biggest and steepest and fastest rides. Sister had a different idea. She wanted to go to Wild White Water Kingdom. Lizzie went there last year and she says it's awesome. It's got a white water ride where everybody has to wear a bathing suit. It's got a pool that makes a huge wave, a corkscrew water slide, and I'm sure those places are fun, interrupted Papa Bear. But we're going on a different sort of vacation this year. Oh, said Brother. Where are we going? We're going on a car trip, said Papa. As a matter of fact, I'm planning it right now on this road map. He was seated at the dining room table. He had a big map spread out on it. A uh, car trip, said the cubs. That's what the cubs said, but that's not what they were thinking. <laughs> what they were thinking was, oh no, not a car trip. Not a long, boring car trip. A car trip to where, asked brother. Your mother and I have decided that it's time for you two to see more of the country, said Papa. Sister was puzzled. What country's that? she asked. Papa looked up from the map. Why, bear country, of course, he said. What kind of vacation is that? asked Brother. We can see bear country any old time. Yeah, said Sister. We can just look out the window. Besides, said Brother, what's there to see? There's a great deal to see, said Papa. And a great deal more to appreciate. So why don't you just sit there beside me and I'll show you where we're going on this map. They climbed up on the chairs beside Papa and looked at the map. It didn't look like much of a vacation to the cubs. It looked like just what it was. A big, boring map. Well, what do you two think of our vacation plans? Asked Mama Bear coming into the room with Baby Honey. Is Honey coming with us on this car trip? Asked Sister. Oh, goodness, no, said Mama. She's not old enough to appreciate a trip like this. I've arranged for Honey to stay with Gramps and Gran while we're away. Lucky Honey, thought the cubs. She gets to have fun with Gramps and Gran while we have to go on a long, boring car trip. You know, said Brother, uh, baby honey's a lot of work. Why don't we stay and help Grams and Gramps while you two go on the car trip? Mama and Papa didn't think that was such a good idea. They backed up and left early the next morning. After saying their goodbyes to baby honey, Gramps and Gran, they headed for the open road. Mama knew how the cubs felt, so she brought along things for them to do during the trip. She brought crayons and a book of mazes and some board games. 
But the cubs were so determined to be bored that they ignored the things Mama had brought. They just sat in the back of the car with their arms folded. Since they were looking straight ahead, the cubs didn't notice that the country around them was changing. The trees were getting bigger and wilder. The land was getting craggier. They didn't even notice the wide blue sky filled with great white clouds sailing and scudding over the broad country. But there was something they did notice, a distant roaring sound. It's hard to stay bored when there's a distant roaring sound that's getting louder and louder. Uh, what's that roaring sound? asked Brother. That's Honeymoon Falls, said Mama. It's where Papa and I spent our honeymoon. Just then they turned the corner, and there it was. Tons of water were pouring over a cliff and crashing into the river below. Brother and sister forgot all about being bored and said, Wow! They parked the car and went to Honeymoon Point overlooking the falls. They had to rent slickers to keep from getting drenched. <laughs> I bet they don't have anything like this at Wild White Water Kingdom, shouted Sister over the roar. Uh, there's something I don't quite understand, Mama, she added as they headed back to the car. If you were here on your honeymoon, how come I don't remember it? Mama and Papa just looked at each other as Brother whispered, We weren't even born yet, silly. <laughs> that gave Sister something to think about on the next leg of their car trip. <laughs> hey, look, shouted Brother. Soldiers fighting. They're shooting at each other. Nothing to worry about, son, said Papa. They're just shooting blanks. They're reenactors. Huh? Oh, what's a reenactor? Asked Brother. They're folks that act out important things that happened a long time ago. Oh, what are they reenacting? Asked Sister. Papa looked at the map. Hmm, I'd say it's the Battle of Beetle Creek. See that stream? That's Beetle Creek. Uh, who was doing the fighting? asked Brother. Folks just like us, said Papa. Oh, were, what were they fighting about? asked Sister. You know, countries don't just happen, said Papa. Folks have to make them happen. And sometimes there's trouble. That's what the reenactors want us to think about. Sometimes you can learn from the past and do a better job in the future. Look over there, behind that low wall. The cubs looked. See those stones? asked Papa. They mark the graves of the soldiers who fell in battle. Brother started to say, Wow! But nothing came out. Sister took a hold of Mama's hand and leaned against her. Back on the road, they went up, up, uphill for a long time. They passed a sign that said, Elevation, 7,610 feet. Uh, what's that sign mean? asked Brother. We're in the Great Grizzly Mountains, and that's how high we are.
That's when they turned a corner and found themselves looking down the steepest, narrowest, windingest road they'd ever seen. The wind rushed past as they plunged down the mountain. Phew, said Brother when they got to the bottom. I bet they don't have anything like that as great as that at Great Grizzly Land. That's a pretty safe bet, said Papa. They passed a sign that said, Now entering Bear Country National Park, home of Mount Grismore. Uh, what's a national park, Mama? asked Sister. It's a park that belongs to the whole country, said Mama. And uh, what's Mount Grismore? asked Brother. It's a very special mountain, said Papa. What's special about it? asked Sister. You'll see in a minute, dear, said Mama. Mount Grismore came into view as they came out of a clump of trees. And it really was special. It had three enormous faces carved in its side. Who are they? asked brothers from the observation area. They're some of the great heroes of bear country history, said Papa. Their faces are carved in the mountain, so we won't forget them. Brother and sister looked up at the great faces. A picture came into Brother Bear's mind's eye. It showed the three historic faces, but there was another one too. It was the face of Brother Bear. A penny for your thoughts, son, said Papa. Uh, er, um... Uh, I was just thinking how this trip is a lot different uh, from what I expected, he said. Of course, there was a lot more that happened during the Bear family's car trip. There were spilled drinks and bathroom stops, lots. <laughs> Sticky lollipops, souvenir stops, motel stops, and all the other things that usually go with car trips. But that's not what the cubs remembered. What they remembered was the big sky, the great falls, the mighty mountains, the little graveyard at Beetle Creek, and the heroes of Bear Country's history in the side of a mountain. Baby Honey Bear was asleep when they picked her up at Grams and Grands and headed home. You know something, Papa, said Brother as they climbed the steps of the treehouse. We ought to take Honey on a car trip sometime, when she's old enough to appreciate it, of course. Of course, said Papa. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.